Hello, welcome to our Scheduling 101 Preparing for Freshman Year uh, meeting via uh, virtual presentation. Uh, we want to thank you for joining us uh, as we talk about the classes that you are going to request for your freshman year of high school. So um, we ask that you watch this video in its entirety, and then there will be some next steps at the end that we will talk about um, things that we want you to do in order to prepare for freshman year. So before we get started, uh, we want to take a moment just to introduce ourselves. My name is Megan Steele. I'm one of the high school counselors at Hamilton Township High School, and I primarily work with students' last names A through L. And I am Kaylee Stevens, and I am the other school counselor at the high school, and I work with students with the last names M through Z. So M through Z, you're with me. Okay, so when we talk about the biggest difference between high school and middle school, we have to talk about credits. In order to graduate from Hamilton Township High School, you have to have 20.5 credits, and those are broken down into certain areas. You must have four credits of English. You must have four credits of math, including Algebra 2 or Algebra 2A. You must also earn three credits of social studies and three credits of science. You must also have a half a credit of PE or have a PE waiver completed, which we will talk about later in the presentation. You will also have to have a half credit of health and a half credit of community service. Community service, you must complete 30 hours of community service in order to graduate, and you will earn the 0.5 credit your senior year. You must also have five elective credits, including a half a credit of art and a half a credit of personal finance. Now, if you took health or personal finance in eighth grade and passed the class, it will count towards high school credit. You add up all of those credits and it was, should equal 20.5 and that is the requirement you need to graduate. When we talk about a testing requirement for the class of 2024, uh, we wanna make sure that you are prepared um, to graduate uh, by completing the following tests. English Language Arts 2, which coincides with our English 10, Algebra and Geometry, as well as Biology, American History, and American Government. There are some other requirements um, that the state has um, put in for the class of 2024, uh, but we will talk about those at a later date, um, more than likely towards the beginning of the year when we have our freshman orientation. Um, College Credit Plus, we just want to highlight it for a few seconds. Um, this is a program that allows students in grades 7 through 12 earn both high school and college credit for free while they are in high school. Uh, this is a program that we started back in January. Um, so if you are a student that was interested in College Credit Plus, we hope that you've been working with Mrs. Carfania to complete um, those procedures and the processes to um, begin this program. Um, if you have not and you are interested in this, please feel free, feel free to reach out to Ms. Stevens or myself um, and we can talk about College Credit Plus more in depth um, and to see if that's an opportunity uh, for you. Okay. So let's talk about the core co course offerings for freshmen. These are the classes that you must take as freshmen. The first is our English 9. Now we are, everybody will be at the college prep level unless you are recommended for your by your teacher for honors college prep English 9. Again, that is only by recommendation and every other student will be in regular English 9. Social studies, we start with world studies, then next year you'll take American history and then into government. Science, every freshman starts with physical science, then you go into biology as a sophomore, and then you get to pick your advanced science your junior year. In terms of math offerings for freshmen, we do have a few based off the classes um, that you have taken uh, in eighth grade. So if you're a student who took algebra one in eighth grade, you have the opportunity to take geometry or even honors geometry. But again, that will be based off your algebra one teacher's recommendation. If you're a student who took eighth grade math, um, your options for math during freshman year are algebra one, which is just a normal year long algebra one class. We also have algebra one double block. So this is for a student who uh, may need just some more uh, remediation uh, in math and maybe some additional help, some time to do um, their work. So algebra one double block is a class that um, 
is two periods of your day. So you'll do algebra one first, and then you'll have uh, the double block after. And that'll be kind of a support class for you to get some extra help um, and maybe work on some more skills. Algebra 1A is a class that is offered um, for freshmen only. And that class is um, the first half of Algebra 1 you'll do your freshman year, and then you'll complete the second half of Algebra 1 during your sophomore year. Um, and that's called Algebra 1B. So you, students will be placed in these classes based off of their eighth grade teacher recommendations. Um, but if this is something that you think you might need more remediation, you can choose um, the class that you think best fits um, you and your math skills. But again, we will also um, be looking at teacher recommendations when placing you in these classes for next year. Okay, so we do have different options than the middle school does for our PE. Um, so we do offer the traditional PE, the physical education class, where you do meet in the gym, um, you learn a sport, and then you take a test on it. And then we also offer basic weight training, where you go out to the weight room every day and you tone your muscles. Um, and so you could do a combination of, um, since you need two classes in order to graduate, you can do a combination of getting them both knocked out your freshman year. You can take physical education, one each semester. You could take physical education first semester and basic weight training next semester or diff any different type of combination. Just mark that on the sheet for us. Um, but we do also offer a PE waiver. So if you are an athlete and you know that you will be getting your educate or your physical education other places through a sport, we do offer the PE waiver that that waives the requirement for you to take PE during the school day. Um, so if you think that you are going to be an athlete at the high school and that is the route you would like to take instead of taking PE class, you can do that. Just indicate that on the form for us um, after this presentation. When it comes to year-long electives, um, we offer quite a few. So if you've already been in band, you have probably already auditioned with Mr. Fulton, and he will go off of those auditions to tell us which band that you have placed in, either symphonic or concert. The same with choir. So if you have Miss Chute, um, hopefully you auditioned before we left, and she will tell us which choir you've been placed in. When it comes to world languages, we offer French and Spanish. Um, now, there are a couple of requirements when it comes to taking those courses. You must be averaging a C or higher in your eighth grade English class. Um, we really want to make sure that you have a good grasp on the English language before we teach you a new language. Um, so we do offer French 1 and Spanish 1 for incoming freshmen. Now, if you did complete Spanish 1 at the eighth grade level with Miss Morgan, then you can go on to Spanish 2 as long as you get that recommendation from Miss Morgan. When we will look at semester elective courses, these are courses that are worth a half a credit. Um, so they are only for one semester. And we have various courses that are offered for freshmen in our music department, in our English department, business, industrial technology, art, and family and consumer sciences. So uh, if you want to um, find out a little bit more about these classes, you'll note at the bottom of the screen, there is a website that links to our high school counselor page on the high school website. Um, and on the right hand side, we have the 2020, 2021 course registration guide available for you uh, to look through um, and to see what classes um, kind of stand out to you that you think would be a best fit for you um, in high school and then after high school as well, depending on your future plans. So our next steps, after you review this video, uh, your next step is to complete the class of 2024 schedule request form um, that is in your student email uh, inbox. Um, once you complete that form, then we will put those requests in and help, and that'll help us create a schedule for you for your freshman year. Um, please note that the courses listed on the form, again, are the ones that are available for ninth grade students. You'll find other courses in the course registration guide, but these are the courses that are available to you um, as incoming freshmen. Also keep in mind that there will be extremely limited opportunities to change your schedule when we return in the fall. Um, so please make sure that you select your course offerings wisely and um, we encourage you to work with your parent or guardian uh, to make sure that you are picking classes again that not only would best suit you in high school, um, but also keeping future plans in mind for once you graduate.
Also keep in mind that you are only submitting your request uh, for next year. Um, so this could be subject to change once all requests are processed and approved. Um, so you may find that you pick a class, but it might not be on your schedule. Um, and again, that is also dependent on um, other students, not only in your grade, but in the high school that have requested that class as well. Um, so just remain open and remain flexible once you receive your schedule in the fall. Uh, we just wanted to kind of look a, or give you a picture of what that request form looks like. So when you find it in your inbox, um, obviously it'll be a little bit longer, um, but we want you to complete that in its entirety. And again, that will help us um, create the best possible schedule for you for your freshman year. So we wanted to, again, thank you for joining us um, on this video. If you have any other questions, please refer to our contact information at the beginning of this presentation. Uh, we hope that you have a great day, and we can't wait to see you in the fall. Go Rangers!